it feels good. It feels good to finally finish a book. Like, I am finished with this book. I am finished. Viva to finishing books. My second book this year, I am beside myself. I am so excited. This is heel goed. Heel, heel goed. It's a good feeling. <laughs> yes! I'm in a row, guys. I'm in a row. Pom, pom, pom. Whoop. I'm going for it. Okay. Come down. Come down, child. Come down. Here's the thing about village stories. You know, when you write a village story, you will never go wrong. Believe me, a village story are powerful because villages, listen, guys, like, I love village stories. I do. And I write them as well. <laughs> Hello, hi, what's up? Hi, my name is Pelissi with Fenstra and I am a writer. I am back with another book review. Yes, hi. Welcome to my channel. Listen, I have 62 subscribers. How am I? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for making me be seen. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. I am grateful. Thank you so much. Um, so I am back with another book. Um, okay, so Odafe wrote a brilliant book, guys. Like simple, simple, simple read. Uh, you can get through this book. Um, uh, in one sitting and you it will be done it's um perfect linear uh, narrative structure kind of book and throughout you don't get lost you follow this character essay wherever she goes you go with essay yes a warrior she is um i love i love when a writer gets it right you know when you know what i took before i get into the book you know what I took? The fact that Ugh, I had it. I just had it in my head. Okay, maybe it's gonna come back. Let me just get into the book. Oh, guys, my reviews. Anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Child, if you haven't read um, Odafe Atogan, like Ulinde. I don't know, Lindani, like, what's up, really? What are you waiting for? You should read this guy's writing. It's a sweetness, yet not sweet, you know? He is saying so much, yet not so much. I liked it. Really, really liked it. I'm like, wow. Okay, so this is a story of a woman who, okay, so we are introduced to S.A. S.A. has a husband and a son. They're living a normal life, ordinary family. They have their small house and they have their little farm garden jigama thing at the back. And they're just living a normal, happy life, like a married couple with their own son. Like almost like me and my husband and my daughter. That was, but it is a very ordinary family life. Um, all seems to be good and jolly and loving and um, perfect, picturesque kind of family. And um, SA is a seller in the market. She's a trade, um, a trader, seller. And she is good in business. Um, she has good relationship with um, the, 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 the city merchants. Um, and um, she is thought as a good omen because she has good relationship with um, the traders. And that helps the village economy. And she's married to um, Tanto. That husband, he is gold, guys. He is gold. You know when you want your wife to work and have her own dreams and you know what your wife is capable of and what she can achieve, whether it's better than you or it's greater than you, you still want your wife to achieve that. And that is Tanto. Tanto, he knew that his wife would succeed in anything she does. So he is a farmer and he asked his wife to, to you know, sell vegetables in a market. 
and it goes really 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 well and you know okay bye i'm i'm doing a video so bye that's my daughter um anyway um anyway <laughs> sorry guys it's just my little one little one is just being a little one right now she's being my lovely lovely little one anyway so coming back to the book review um so everything seems to be okay until um something in a horrific accident happened to to essay's husband and he dies um i think a, a branch fell on him and he died and it was instant he didn't get sick and how you know how painful that is i mean well i don't know how painful that is but I can imagine that it was really unexpected I mean he didn't get sick at least someone who gets sick they kind of prepare you that they might they're gonna die soon you know but someone who just you know it's a tree fell on him and he was gone so things became a quite quite difficult for essay um, to to raise a son Noah um, she had to be everything and they had a good uh, life together and um, Noah became okay the fact that his father died and he was able to play outside and be okay and um, But that after six months of of her being a widow In course see this the way that come away at again a little and to buzz on it Donia man's Lale and to me who shot the foods um tattoo show jal You see all the television jal So basically just to translate that very quickly um, the chief, the village chief came to, um, he was uh, riding his horse, a white horse, and he came uh, to Essay's house and told her that, listen, our tradition says every, every, after six months um, of losing um, your husband, of being a widow, you have to remarry. And you only have two weeks to find a husband. And if you don't, your son will be taken away and given to the nearest ne um, relative. And the nearest relative for... Um, essay was the most horrible person ever created in the world of fiction <laughs> um, The uncle he was very strict and he was greedy and um, And he was just not a nice person. So he um, essay couldn't imagine um, her son Going to stay with that person and and Noah is like almost like seven years old so he's a he's a young boy very smart kind beautiful helpful and uh, who who believes in in what he uh, what his mother believes in? So he essay could not could not the love of love and and happiness could not allow that to happen to to his son. So she worked very hard to try and change the chief's um, ideology, but of course that prompted more problems. Uh, the 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 chief came back and asked her like, listen, you still got time to find a husband i'm here uh marry me I say i want to make you my wife and th there's a belief that if you are married to um the palace to the chief the other wives will somehow well your son will die basically that that, that that's what happened to other widows that came in because they lost their husband and they brought their kids and their sons died um so there's a lot th th this village is spooned with um the tradition and and culture and which um essay was not very familiar to or was not really aware of because she didn't have to experience it now that she was a widow she now shocked that there is that kind of tradition that kind of uh that you have to remarry after six months and you find and, and she's not she doesn't marry because she wants to marry she married because of love and that is what drives um, SA to to really fight for what she believes, and she really challenges all the the norms of tradition and all the the what the society believes in. And she's really hardcore, face to face with with um, uh, the the high priest and stuff like that. And it, it is troubling. And finally, the two weeks ends, and they take her son to the uncle, and she's paralyzed by pain and grief. That wow, her son, and he was sick, and it was just painful to 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 experience that kind of loss. You just lost your husband six months ago, and tradition is not on your side as always. No, 
And the thing is, the chief really wants to marry Wu Ese. He's been doing that for a long time. He stopped because Ese was married to Utanto. So he took a step back. Okay. He took a step back. But as soon as the gate opened, he came back. He just came back. He said, no, listen, I'm here. I want to marry. And <laughs> you, you're knocking on the wrong door today, brother. That's SA's mentality. It's like, no, I don't. I'm not going to do that. And everyone says, but everyone is doing it. So why are you saying no? It's better. You will have a good life in the palace. You won't have, you don't have to worry about working in the trade uh, business or working at the market or anything. Just do it, you know, because there's a lot happening when the chief gets sick or the chief um, doesn't feel well or defeated and there's guards uh, protecting or uh, guarding um, Ulan Tuzana or... Oh, oh, SA, because the SA tried to escape with the sun, and she tried so much, so many things to escape the rule that so they will take her son away. And of course, the, the son was taken away, and she was devastated. Um, and the old friend came in, Okpofa, Okpofa, and he was the friend, and he was not aware that Tanto passed away, and that means he was away at least probably. A year or something when when he came back he was shocked to find out that his friend passed away and the son was taken away so he used his knowledge or his um <laughs> his gift that because he comes from the city he comes with better gifts and he tried to uh, soften the the chief and he he did and um usa was able to visit his son okay so things are sort of okay now usa now can visit the sun and um you know take care and f bring food and stuff like that finally i think there was a storm uh there was a rain happening and um and he oh no 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 no, no. the chief had a dream and that dream said a lot of uh uh okay wait yeah, this yeah so this tradition that mothers have to separate from their kids, and it's not good. So the, the dream was very kind, was very vivid and very scary for him that there'll be uh, heavy rains and storm because of of that the pain that the, those mothers feel that those kids are separated to 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 their parents. So finally, the the rule was changed. Um, that okay, no, okay, mothers can take their sons, so or their kids. So that's what SA was so happily, happy, happy she did that. So everything seems, and for me, when I was, I came to that um, sort of a, 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 a midpoint climax, so I, yeah, yeah, I thought, okay, the book is finished. I mean, she has the son, she can continue work in the farm. What more could happen? Like, what more could happen? You know, you she just challenged the chief, you know, and you're done. But no, no. Who uh, are uh, uh, She came with another angle as well, another torrential rain that took everything again. Okay, no, <laughs> I'm very exaggerating right now. But um, it 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 felt like that. It felt like all these attacks against this woman. You know. Okay. Then the second part of it is that. The son, Unoa, Unoa is a special one, huh? Unoa had this love and she was similar to, 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 to his mother and he, had, he, he felt for um, the orphans. So there is another rule, there is another tradition in this village that um, orphans, are, they bring evil. They are evil uh, bringers because they kill their parents. Therefore, they are um they are evil and they are outcasted by the society by the village and they are left to feed for themselves like in jail oh in ganina four four years old um in a, in a typical accident and that child does not have family oh no uncle and aunts and grandmothers but they would not take the child in because the child brings evil that is that's part of the tradition the village tradition and they believe that so there is an outskirts um of field with with orphans and they feed themselves through you know scavenging through the bins and so oh, all of this i don't know what really feels for that for them and he really 
befriends himself with orphans and he really puts them in his heart they become friends they play soccer they are having a good time and that that is not good so that is reported to the chief but the chief is in his head mental i don't know distortion or whatever i don't know what's happening with the chief um but he's not well he is not um reacting to anything so the community i mean the village is kind of now in 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 this in a stress um high stress level and thinking what what is going on because the chief is not uh, reacting to anything finally ulontuzana Ooh, the straw is that um the last straw is that noah gets sick and a lot happens again and he gets sick and um, he tries everything the herbalist come to to kind of help and she was asked to go um to find um a very powerful herbalist that will heal the child then she goes travel for about five days and to this village and finds the herbalist and when she reaches the the herbalist uh this young looking 16 year old herbalist said no you don't have you um go back your son will be fine I said but i have to go back with you that's essay saying that i have to go back with you but no your son will be fine and she goes back finds the son is dead she doesn't believe that the son is dead she literally does not believe that her son is dead they were he and he, the son was buried one hour ago she thinks no it's the chief the chief kidnapped um her son and the the the, 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 the village is part of it which is which is possible i mean anything is possible and that's what she believes and and finally she with because of a of a trauma and the grief of losing her son and not finding the son when she went to search for him at the palace and everyone saying your son is dead we, he was buried and said yeah okay fine if my son is buried let me see the grave and that's also an omen you can't do that you can't um dig a, dig out the grave and, and take out the body that's 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 just you want to kill the village so it is spewed with with a lot of traditions and a lot of beliefs finally um she takes in the offense which the that shook the village and shook the the, the 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 high priest and they said no we're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be hanged um that was the and then and then and then and then, and then essay essay had to run away she escaped and she traveled Genyao, uh, for a month and she found this new village um where things are changing are becoming more better um there, there is room for change and what she couldn't do in her old village she was able to do and she she connected with this old lady who believed that there will be someone coming in um, who is a widow. And so she was prepared to come to that city, to that village, um, which was interesting. It's like de the destiny aligned so much for her in that new village. She was able to have her own um, orphanage after all. So what she intended to do in her old village, she was able to fulfill in the new village, but not also without any trouble she had to convince people to come to her side but the chief in that village was more younger and more um what's the word more contemporary or trying to be um and then he was on sa side and they also actually there were people believing that this belief or this tradition that offends uh evil and should be left alone dying it doesn't make sense it's inhumane and it was like seeing a political rally happening, I guess. It made me think of all these strong women, you know, when I think of SA. It's like in this small village, and there's this one strong woman who is vocal, who believes so much in love and in happiness and in fairness and in, in, in equality. And anyway, it, again, she finds an, a child, a son, um, he names she names this boy noah and she for some time she believed that the boy is her son who came back and found her again you know grief doing its thing uh in essay but finally okpofa came back as well and told him no i know so you you this is not your son your son was dead and buried but of course this is your son you gave and you're giving these kids a home you having an orphanage um so that was great so it's 
it's interesting because there's a professor coming in as well it's, it's, it's interesting professor comes in who was an orphan and who was outcasted by the same village but and he ran to the city by by love and happiness he was able to to become a professor or rather a couple took him in and to get good care of him and he became a um a, a a professor and he came back and he said look at me am i a bad omen huh huh i'm a professor now am i a bad omen but i didn't have parents but look at me now and i'm driving a car and this time it was the first time this village has seen a car so you can imagine you can imagine what happens in, in the village people's minds and the interesting thing the high priest the high priest was like um in seven days in seven days you are going to be blind and da 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 and everyone was like waiting for seven days to see if she was limping and she was blind. Hell no. Hell to the no. Like, oh, I say, was carrying all the buckets and still working. Like, Kuningi, guys. And I'm, I'm still just talking about the plot here. Just, just to, just to, it's difficult. It's interesting. But Odafi really, like, it's very, um, it was like storytelling, you know, it was a beautiful, uh structure easy to follow it was it's it, it, it grabbed me from the word go and i really as if, as if i know essay you know and um and i think of you know when i think of essay i think of angela 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 davis when i think of essay i think of mary makeba when i think of essay i think of my mother when i think of essay i think of nina simone uh when i think of essay i think of um i'm trying to think of south african uh, great humans i'm not very political so i wouldn't know much but there is a um, lot of lovely strong vocal feminists that we have in South Africa I would really have to think but I went to Pumla and there's so many vocal beautiful uh, strong women that you when you put them on the table and you want to discuss things about women that concern women and the changes that has to happen around the norms of being a woman and what it means we have so many and some are not even on social media like some are just your neighbors probably but yes essay she is she's she's a warrior she is a a, a like no nonsense you touch me you touch my son you touch my blood you touch my family you touch my heart that kind of woman she is a warrior she is a strong formidable being and you know yeah here's the thing i wanted to say from the beginning i'm sorry this is becoming a long video i am so sorry um one thing i wanted to say is that i am so happy so very happy that odafe didn't make her finding a man the achievement you get what i'm going with that but creating an orphanage convincing the chief and the people in that village to abolish the belief that orphans are evil or, or evil bringers i'm happy that's where he ended it with it and if noah the second noah i say the second noah <laughs> grows up to be a wonderful person um a young man at the age of 23 he became the chief in that old village so things are changing maybe there'll be a salt in that village so Oh, Duffy, thank you so much, sir. Thank you for writing a formidable, strong character like Essay. And I wish I can be Essay in many ways. Thank you so much. I love your book and I give it, I think, a beautiful 10. It's just, this, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful read. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.